What's up guys, Indy Bender here, and today, I'm giving you a mod showcase. Yes, it finally worked, and sorry for the background noise, I was just uh, using my phone there. Uh, today, we are doing one of my favorite mods that I've wanted to do ever since I could not download mods anymore. I was stuck on 1.6, but now it's 1.8, and my skin is a World War II soldier, because we are doing the Flans mod, the World War II stuff. These lamps are not a part of the mod, unfortunately. That's a part of another mod that I'll show later in my YouTube stuff. Alright, so, I got the Allied versus the Axis. This is, um, so this is the Allied powers versus Axis powers. I don't need these. Also, the chat is hidden because, um, because, um, I'm using the command it's back there to keep it daytime. So I don't want it to be nighttime while I'm doing this. Alright, so these are the weapon crafting boxes, I believe. Um, I'm gonna move it over here. My webcam. It's always like down the cor this corner for me or something. Um, I need to turn up my audio. For some reason, it always turns back off. Okay. Alright, so this is the American weapon box. Now, if you were if you were going to let's see, hold on. So let me get some stuff. Let's see. I think it was this, and then maybe gunpowder. I think. The people. No, no. It was eight iron ingots. Okay. Yeah. Um, iron ingots. Yeah. Got that. Okay. So I could make this and this, which is the carbine. Um. Oh wait. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna have to like. Get ready, okay. So, mode zero. And I'm going to. I wish there was a thing where you could, like, make it so those commands are hidden. Alright, so. This is what it looks like in third person with the M1 carbine. This is not how I'm going to show it, though. Um, I like the models. The models are awesome. Left click to aim, honestly, is a little weird to me. Um, yeah, so. Sorry if that's kind of loud. I don't know. But, yeah, it's kind of loud. Alright, and since I'm out of ammo, can't shoot any longer. So I'd have to craft another uh, one. Alright, so let's see. And then we got the Garand. Or the Garand. I don't remember how I used to say it. For some reason, this doesn't have an animation. All of it looks like you're charging a bow, which is nice. Alright, so, um, at least the bolt kind of moves. Alright, so, I'm going to have to open this. Uh, multiplayer settings, hands only, game mode, let's see, what was it? yeah, one, and get rid of all of that. Okay, so, hidden. I should probably just like get rid of that. And then we got the British weapon box with the Lee Enfield, the Sten and the Webley, the Piat, the Bren, and those bomb bofers. Wait. Is that one here too? Yeah. Okay, so we all oh, okay, I should probably show this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um so we got Springfield, the Thompson. Uh, I'll show all that stuff later. We got the Soviet, Russian what stuff. We got the German one and the Japanese. Oh, I feel like I need to pop my neck. <laughs> Alright, so let's get on to the weapons and outfits. Alright, so this is the Japanese standard fatigues. I didn't put standard. Um, Alright, so let's get this. Alright, so... There we go. Alright, so... No. Oh, dang it. Freaking. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the Japanese standard fatigues. They're pretty cool. I got a gas mask on, so uh, it kind of looks a little bit weird, uh, but that's fine. All right, so let's get back stuff back on. On the. Actually, no. I'm just gonna keep it like this. So. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So the Japanese weapons are the Type 38 sniper, which takes Type 38 ammo. And same goes for the Type 38 Sniper. Takes the same ammo. 
Then we got the Type 100, the Nambu Type 100 thingy. And this takes the Type 100 ammo. Um, these are all the full stacks. But no. So if I was to use the middle mouse button, you see I get that. Alright, so we got the Type 38 with this ammo. Uh, we can just do that, and I'm going to put that down in the corner. The Type 38 Sniper, once again, same ammo. The Type 100 with Type 100 ammo. Type 14 Nambu. Um, I played a lot of Call of Duty, World at War. Um, let's see, and then we got the Type 99. Um, oh, and these things are placeable, and they have 3D models. And the Type 97 Grenade. grenade grenade. Uh, an anti-tank mine, binoculars. This is the stuff that everyone would have. These two and these three. Standardly, I'm sure. I mean, I'm not sure about the Japanese, but I know that some stuff. And we'll get the medical kit. Alright, so... Oh, wait, I should probably quickly grab the knife. And push it away. Okay, phew, for a second there. Alright, so I'm gonna place all of this in my inventory. We're going to test out all the other stuff first. Alright, so this one is the only one that has four outfits at the same time. The Germans. Alright, so the, this is pro these two on the inside were probably used more. This is probably used more in uh, Battle of the Bulge and some, uh, some Russian areas. Alright, so we got the German Forest Fatigues, which is like outfit stuff. Um, the German Desert Fatigues. Um, for use in, uh, Egypt and stuff. We got the German weapons. Uh, there's a lot in there, I should tell you. Um, German standard fatigues. <laughs> Oops. I should have checked that over. Dang. And the German snow fatigues. Like I said, used in Battle of Bulge. Alright, so let's start with the forest fatigues. Alright, so... Oh, I should also uh, mention that this is what they look like on your head. They're a little big for your eyes, I think. Or head. That's happened for me. When I was using my Headless Horseman skin, I was doing a run-through before. And you go as well. <laughs> Alright, so they got the little... They kind of swoop down at one point. So I look awesome in this camo. This is amazing camo. Um, yep. Ready to shoot. Shoot. The Allied soldiers down, I guess. Um, all right, so same goes for the desert. You know, the helmet's kind of the same. They got the helmet strap, which is cool. Um, yeah, not much to mention here. Um, and we'll get to that later. Let's just for now test out the Imperial Japanese stuff. Um. All right. So first, let's start with the pistol. Pistol, natural. All right. So this is what the Type 14 looks like. Apparently, I actually didn't take a look at this. I like the sounds too. All right. So ready to shoot the American enemy. Bonsai stuff like that. And you can press R or right click to reload, I think. Alright, so that's that. Let's get to the Type 38, and we'll go in order from there. Alright, so, Type 38, Arisaka. That's the Ar Arisaka. Yeah. Before I thought it was Ariska. Like, seriously. Alright, so, unfortunately, the bolt doesn't go back on this, which is kind of weird. And it does break glass, I forgot to mention. All of these, all of the bullets do break glass. And same goes for the Type 38 Sniper. Except you can zoom. So, boom! And they are usually instant kills. Alright, see? I got that guy. And, yeah. Oh, I guess I shot him in there. Yeah. Okay. And that's the sniper. Um, 
And let's see. I have built up a little uh, fighting area there. And as you saw, this is the Type 100 Nambu. Nambu Type 100. Obviously, these guns do have recoil. Alright, so now let's test out the Type 99. Also, so this is what, what it looks like when you're, um, when you use these. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to go down. Let's see, let's go over here. I would expect. Okay, let's see. I thought that was gonna work. There we go. Alright, so this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, without its mag. Right click to get on it. And for some reason, it doesn't have its mag on. Before, it actually did. I don't know why it's not anymore. And this also shoots infinitely. Are you serious? Oh well. And I think it shoots infinitely. Hold on. Uh. Oh yeah. Music and sounds. I do not want to hear weather. Uh, weather off. Okay. Okay. There we go. Phew. Alright, so that's all the Japanese weapons with all of its ammo. Alright, so let's uh, just let me get rid of this. Oh, wait, I still have these. Alright, and I'm gonna say knife. Wait, how much? 10 attack damage! <laughs> Alright, so the Type 97 grenade is a grenade. Alright, let's try to. Oh, it broke through the window. Alright, so it acts like a throwable TNT, but less. Uh, damage I guess there we go it's inside there boom okay never mind wow okay so that was some good damage there all of this would have fallen to the ground obviously the anti-tank mine I guess I could set up throughout like maybe near somewhere like maybe if they were trying to yeah that's that's about realistic right there well, actually, they have it more in a cluster. Like this. And, unfortunately, there is... There aren't any anti-personnel mines. Like, none that you can set off when you walk on them. And... <laughs> Alright, so here's the binoculars. They are actually really cool looking. They're octagonal. And this is what they look like when you're holding them. They're, they're super up high. And if you left click, you get little binocular vision. So you can scout out the enemy. What? Alright, medical kit. Um probably can't show you now. I'd probably have to show you in another showcase. Oh wait! <gasps> it actually loaded in! Hold on. I'm gonna try this now. There we go. That's more right. For some reason, sometimes they'll do that. They'll like bug out. Alright, so, that's what that looks like. I'm actually glad that it, it actually took its time. It's nice. Good for you. <laughs> Alright, and so we have the knife now. Knife to meet you. Alright, so let's see how much damage it does to this villager. Oh, man! That was crazy! That was... Okay. Ah. Yeah, I do injure myself a lot. Well, not intentionally. Alright, so that's all the Japanese weapons. We also have to test out the parachute. That's the last thing we're going to test out. Alright, so the parachute. Uh, let's say you're jumping out of a plane. Yes, there are planes. And you get a parachute. And you can also use a weapon while you're in it. Look. Come on. Alright, and just, uh, left shift to get out of it. Whoa. Okay. And, let's see, hold on, I'm gonna have to throw those out. And, okay, so. Now let me pick up all that stuff. Alright, so. I didn't put on the German outfit, now do it, I? 
Oh wait, I should probably get that out now. Alright, so... This is the desert outfit on me. It still looks pretty cool. I'm probably part of Rommel's... Whatever, I think it was Rommel. I don't remember. Rommel's, um... German troop. Alright, so... That's that stuff. Alright, and the forest, I don't think... Oh yeah, I showed you that. Okay, I'm forgetting stuff super easily now. Okay. And the German standard fatigues. And the snow fatigues. Are... Uh, it doesn't have camo on the snow ones. Don't let it deceive you. The standard fatigues. These are pretty cool standard fatigues here. I'm probably going to wear those for stuff. Probably going to cause blitz screen or something. No. Alright, so... Don't worry, I'm not a new Nazi or anything. I'm just showing you a mod that happens to be World War II and it has German stuff. And I'm not any German sympathizer thingy. Alright, so now we have these. Um, I just need to, like, well, I don't need to grab this stuff. Okay, okay. And the Luger, this, and this. Okay, I have a freaking. I could probably just like uh, that, 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 there, and there. All right, so this is the first of the stuff. A style hand grenade. Yep, that's how you say it. Style hand grenade. Well, if you're somebody who likes to say it in an, the other language version, but. We American Allied Powers, I think maybe just, I'm not sure if the Russians called it this, but the, they just called it the, um, um, we just called it the Potato Masher. I don't know why, I'm actually not sure what a Potato Masher looks like. I haven't seen one before. I've seen an Ice Crusher. Um, alright, so, the Germans would probably yell, GRANATE! Also, it does bounce. That was not very well. Granate! There we go. I do speak a little bit of German, but only because I do Google Translate stuff. Granate! <sighs> Alright, that's... So that's that. Uh, we can just... That. Alright. Car 98K. Alright, so... This one... Okay, so the bolt does work on this one. And it, it's nice, it's nice, it's, it has nice iron sights. Alright, so... Kapowie. Um, they don't actually have, like, the bolt going up and stuff. That's kind of, um, sad for me. Oh, are you running? Oh. Bam! There we go. And you saw the reloading. Uh, this is the same for the Car 98K. Kind of weird because the sniper scope is on top and you wouldn't be able to reload a whole clip like that. And boom! Yep. No. How am I missing? There we go. As long as I'm laying aiming low enough. What? Oh, wait! Wait a second. Hold on. If I aim. If I aim upwards, there. I'm better at not scoping. What, seriously? Alright, so that's interesting. Alright, so Luger. Yep, simple reloading animation. I'm fine with that. Yep, it's pretty simple. Uh, Gavel. Gavel 43. Uh, Gav Gavel. Feeling something, I don't know. I'd have to look it up on Google. <laughs> uh, or just the Gavea 43. Uh, it was made in 1943. And this looks actually, surprisingly, a lot like the one from Call of Duty World of War. Alright, so let's get the aim. And the bolt does work on it, if you just saw. I'll do it again. Pow! Yeah. So, that's what I like, and, okay, good, so, 
And this is the MP44, or the real one, Storm Gavail Fjord Fjordsy. I don't know, I just heard that from the Heroes and Generals thing when they added the Storm Gavail 44. Uh, stir Storm... Storm Rifle... Or, no, Assault Rifle, I think, 44. Yeah, stor Assault Rifle 44. And this... They called this a Machine Pistol 44. No, just no. Alright, so, let's get it ready. And... And, surprisingly, this was the first assault rifle. Yeah. First. Made in 1944. A little late there, buddy. They're almost about to... Alright, so the bolt does work as well. And, obviously, does break glass. Because that's realistic. FG-42. Uh, a little more blocky, less detailed, I would say. But still okay. I still like it. Now, this thing was unwieldy to reload. Like, seriously? But no! Alright. So that's that. And then the MP40. Machine Pistol 40. I don't even know if it's Fion only. I don't know. Just, I'm not even going to bother with any... Oh, wait, I need to reload the train. Oh, pop my neck. Alright, so, now we have the Panzer Shrek. This gives you m minus 40% of your speed. So, yeah, it's really, it's really hard to uh, try to use. Alright, so... Alright, so let's try that again. So, for some reason, this doesn't do a lot of damage, even though it kind of should. Like, collateral. But it does do a lot of damage towards, um... You know... The... The tanks and stuff. Yes, there are tanks. I don't know how long this has been going on for, but I will show you this, and then I will probably say... That we, uh, will end it there, and then... I'm wearing them as... Whoa. Okay, so... After this MG42 showing, I will end it here and come back to you... With the... Uh, next part of it. Alright? So this is the MG42. I should probably get rid of the MP40 ammo. Panzer Shrek. Car 98K. Starland Granat. Car. Luger. Gewehr. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this one. In this mod, which I really think is amazing. Alright, so. Alright, so here is the bullet drum. This is only, um, I think, 100 ma mag. Yikes. Alright, so. Left click to fire these things, by the way. Yeah, kind of loud. But hey, isn't that everything these days with guns? Besides silencers, obviously. Now let's get a bigger space to uh, kind of like rotate this thing. And let's give it this. Is it gonna. Okay. So, that's the MG42, that's the German weapons, and I will be back with part two. Yeah. See you guys later. I hope you liked this. Uh, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos, not daily, because I have, you know, important things. Um, so, you know, I got this prepared, just especially for y you guys, you viewers, you're really good. Um, thanks for watching. And here's the little drum, or er, box. They're all, they're the same, kind of. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!